my dudes, welcome to my channel The Collection with you, Mr. Tim. Okay, guys, today I've decided to make video about uh, grammar because my last videos were about different things, uh, about uh, motivational stuff and about uh, speaking full test. Uh, therefore, uh, we have to come back. I mean, uh, to talk about grammar and uh, therefore uh, today's topic about grammar, guys. And you know, these days I'm in two minds, and it's really hard to make decision. Uh, I mean, I have some problems, and I don't want to just uh, share with you my problems because it's not really good sharing some kind of problems or complaining about this. Therefore, uh, but anyway, I'm trying to make video because you know it can help me to release my tension. Therefore, today's topic about. Uh, present simple i mean present perfect and also uh, past simple we talked about both of them but i'll try to explain the differences between them okay and by the way uh you know i have taken exam ielts and uh, i have received the result uh, i don't have that certificate i mean uh, i just uh, check at this on the website of uh, british council and that was six just check it out uh, yeah uh, you know uh, the six uh, is better than nine for me because i spend a lot of time uh, for the taking that exam even if i just uh, uh, take maybe five i would be really happy uh, because you know uh, the taking exam is one of the uh, how can I say it's like a gift for me because a lot of people uh, couldn't just take exam they couldn't study uh, I mean they couldn't learn English but I had this chance and uh, I'm trying to be grateful and uh, I'm not disappointed by this <laughs> okay let's start Okay, today I'll try to explain differences between uh, present perfect and past simple. Before making this video, I tried to just repeat all, all those rules uh, in order to make sure that I can explain to you properly. And I uh, have read a book of uh, uh, Murphy, I mean, uh, the grammar in use, and I tried to repeat all, all of those rules. And you know, I just paid attention in a lot of books, uh, a lot of authors just tried to mention about these rules, especially about differences between the present perfect and the past simple. Maybe uh, people tend to make mistakes when they are using uh, these rules. Therefore, I just decided to make this video and I just considered this like an important rule for today's uh, talk, topic about differences between present perfect and also past simple okay let's start okay you know we cannot use present perfect uh, when we are talking about finished time in the past uh, because you know present perfect has a connection with uh, present and when you are talking about finished time about yesterday two days ago or about uh, maybe uh, some kind of things that uh, happened in the past you cannot use uh, present perfect okay just listen i'll try to give some examples about past simple and just try to compare okay uh, you know <clears throat> tom lost his key yesterday we use it yesterday and yesterday is uh, like a keyword i mean a uh, signal word of the past and uh, you cannot use in this situation present perfect and also we mentioned that that uh, action happened in the past i mean finish it in the past uh, and also okay the second is we played football two days ago with my classmates that was in the past two days ago and we mentioned that playing football finish it i mean that action finish it and uh, you know we used past simple when we ask uh, what happened in the past for example what time did they arrive you cannot say uh, what time have they arrived uh, because you are talking about past anyway okay the second is uh, <clears throat> when were you born 
and you can you cannot say uh, when have you been born okay we have to use uh, past simple in such situations okay and you know just uh, try to compare i'll try to give you uh, two examples uh, one of them will be about past simple and second one will be about uh, present perfect okay uh, just uh, uh, tom lost his key yes we mentioned about this example but uh, it can be uh, clear for you that that's why i'm talking about this example okay tom lost his key yesterday here we just uh, we, we are thinking of action that that action just happened tom lost his key but we don't know tom has that key now or he doesn't have that key we don't know about this but when we use present perfect for example tom has lost his key we are not thinking of action we are thinking of present result of the action you know uh, for example tom uh, don't, uh, doesn't i mean tom doesn't have that key now we just emphasize it about the uh, i mean not about action but about that tom doesn't have that key it is the difference between the present perfect and past simple that's all that guys and i try to make this video shorter because you know uh, i just talked about vital things about common things and i think that that was understanding for you i don't know uh, okay uh, i will wait my video and try to uh, find some mistakes uh, i know that um, there were a lot of mistakes anyway okay guys thank you for watching and uh, by the way thank you for those who are subscribing to my channel and they're trying to just uh, uh, how can i say leave comments about my videos i really appreciate uh, all of you thank you guys and also thank you for those who are watching uh, that video i mean my last video for speaking full test uh, that was uh, more than 100 viewers thank you guys uh, and uh, I just uh, have realized that when you just talking uh, uh, with uh, how can I say popular people with people who just have taken high score from the IELTS your video will be really popular that's why I'm trying to find those kind of people uh, and uh, I think in the near future I'll try to uh, ask some questions from the other teachers I mean from the other education centers okay stay with me and uh, everything will be okay <laughs> thank you for watching guys peace